Hey guys, my name is David and today I'm going to show you how to write a description for an article. Your description is very important and it's a good idea to get in as many relevant keywords as possible. Today, so today I'm going to show you how to come up with an easy way to come up with a list of secondary keywords and how to write your description. The article title of this sample is called Liverpool Football jerseys. Okay, so I'm going to type in Liverpool Liverpool football jersey into Yahoo and it's going to come up with a bunch of secondary keywords. Now, I often use Yahoo over Google because I find that the list is a little bit longer of secondary keywords. So the words that come up here that I like are new, Adidas, UK, and four kids. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to a text file and I'm going to copy over those words. So new new Adidas um, for kids and 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 UK. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the internet and I'm actually, I'm actually going to look at a website that sells these kinds of jerseys. Um, so I'm just scrolling down the site and I see that two of the most popular jerseys that come up are called Steven Gerrard and Luis Suarez. So those look like good secondary keywords to me as well. So St Steven and Suarez. Okay, those, so Steven Gerrard and Luis Suarez are two players on their team and they have jerseys in their names and those are good secondary keywords. Now, the reason that we want good secondary keywords is because this is what people are searching for in Google. So, the next thing we need to do is come back and we're actually going to look at one of these products and here on the left we have size. Um, we can choose small, medium, large, extra large, extra, extra large, and 3XL. So I'm going to copy those over as well because people are going to be searching sizes. So uh, uh, small, sm small, medium, large, and extra large. So people might also be searching S, M, L, X, L, X, X, L, etc. But for this example, we're going to leave it like that. And people are also going to be searching for shopping words such as um, uh, great deals, free shipping. People are going to type in words like where to buy. They're going to type in words like find and cheapest etc etc shopping words so in your description I have put up a bunch of X's here and your description box in WordPress uh, is 60 160 characters long so I've just typed 160 X's and basically what I can do is go to the end of this the X's and that amount of text will show up in the Google results so the better your description, the more traffic you'll get. To, ha to get a good description, you need good secondary keywords. Uh, so, so, another side note here before I actually write it. The words you put in your description, you actually have to write about in your article because relevancy is very important. You have to deliver on the words that are in your description. If you don't deliver, uh, it's just not good and you're basically spamming the internet with garbage. So. The first words of your description are you're going to so you, your title what you're going to do is you're going to take your title Liverpool football shirts and you're going to paste it at the beginning of your description. So it's very important that the first words of your description be a repeat of the words in your title. So I'm going to Liverpool football shirts. Now you're going to see how I'm going to write this. I'm just going to put find new and Another word that people search for jerseys is authentic. Authentic. Find new and authentic. 
um, Adidas. No, I'm going to say uh, soccer shirts because that's a great synonym for football jerseys. Soccer shirts. Uh, for uh, say in the UK uh, for kids oops and in we're going to do it like this in kids and adult sizes including uh, small medium large a uh, little tip for, to say and you can do use this symbol and XL in including uh, Steve Garland see I don't have space for Steve Garland uh, sorry Gerard and Luis Suarez so for now I'm just gonna skip those and I'm just gonna find I'm just gonna say so I have my sizes. Find new and authentic Adidas soccer shirts um, in the UK. Uh, for Liv I'm gonna I'm gonna I, I I'm gonna repeat for Liverpool. Uh, but generally, what you you want to try to avoid repeating words in your description uh, in your uh, title too many times after the colon within your description because that looks spammy. But I'm going to do it once here. And then at the end, I'm just going to say here. And that here we'll put uh, here. So that way you can see that we're two characters over 160, but that's okay. So basically, you don't want your description to be the exact same. So say I have, I don't know, 10 different articles on football jerseys. I want to vary them. So in this one, I'm going to find new and authentic at the, at the, at the beginning. But in some other ones, I might write where to buy or how to find or get the. Or I could also start it with get the cheapest. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put my brand in there. So some others have different brands. And then um, for kids, for example, I could also say for children, for uh, for youth and youth sizes. Uh, so basically, you want to make each description as unique as possible. You want to put in good relevant secondary keywords and then when you write your article you want the article to include and be about what you've uh, described in your description that way you should have uh, very good results in the um, in the Google search and you should also be able to drive lots of traffic to your site because you've included good secondary keywords uh, okay so this has been David I hope this was helpful thank you very much